Hey, aloha, folks. Good to see you again. It's uh, Aloha Cooking Show with Nader. And one more surprise, another episode of fun and healthy cooking. All right, so today for the Aloha Cooking with a lot of Aloha spirit, I got you one heck of a very good, uh, you can call it dip, you can call it side dish, you can call it food because it's so nutritional. And what we're going to do today is going to be avocado that's going to help me to make the guacamole. Holy moly, you're going to have a lot of guacamole. And I'll show you the basic but a very healthy way of making it, okay? So I'll tell you a little bit about avocados. This, this is an unripe uh, condition. They're kind of bright green, okay? And this is from the they're different types. Uh, this type is called Haas avocado, and they were, basically they've been around for thousands of years and introduced by uh, Aztecs in Mexico. And the Spaniards, they got it going, and then eventually, back in 1696, the English, they couldn't pronounce aqua. You know, they were saying agua acatec. They couldn't say that, so eventually the English turned into avocado instead of saying agua acatec. So it became avocado, and since then, it's been uh, the center of agriculture here in out there. U.S. avocado is a big industry in, in California, Southern California, especially in San Diego County. They grow a lot of this, and the house is the most popular. There are different kinds. There's this one, it's called the globe. They're round, but the texture is not as nutty as this one. So if you want to be like a nuts, going nutty, you eat this kind of house, okay? But the globe is good too. I like it. I love avocados. So once they ripe, they get to this color, kind of dark, dark brown. They look like black, but they're not. It's very dark brown. Let me give you today some health tip. Avocado skin, if you eat it, it is toxic, but not enough to kill you. But it sure will kill the intestinal parasites. So that's how one way to get rid of them. And avocado itself, okay, let's get into it. And as I cut it and talk to you about the food, I'll tell you a lot of it. All right, folks, as we get your pen and paper ready for the portions that I'm going to tell you about my guacamole, okay? So you have a bowl here. I like the metal one. And I'll be using two to three or more, maybe. It depends how many people. But I would use about three ripened avocados, okay? And then you would need uh, half a bunch of cilantro. I chopped it here, it's already. And uh, some people prefer to have, you know, a little bit of garlic, but you can go without garlic if you want. You can go ahead two or three cloves, and that's pressed and crushed. And then I use uh, one natural, you know, Maui, really good quality onions, organic, since it's all chopped into sort of like a cubes, fine, really finely chopped. And then I use vine ripe tomatoes, about two of them. Now, one thing I do, once I chop it, I put it in a little strainer. You see all that juice? You don't want that juice in the guacamole. It makes it kind of, kind of mushy. You don't want that. So leave it there and take the juice out. <clears throat> now the juice is gone, so you got yourself nice, crispy, crunchy tomatoes. Okay? So, and then you're going to need one or two lime. And then you have all you have to do is just cut the avocados. And once they split, there's an easy way to get rid of this. By the way, don't waste, always give it back to Mother Nature what you take. Just put it back in your garden. Well, dry it. First dry it, and then you can plant it, and we'll bless you with more avocados, okay? So, here's what I do. I go crisscross. Makes it a lot easier. And then you grab a spoon, and dig into it, and take it out. I'll bring it here, so the camera can grab it. So it will be holy moly bread, guacamole. There we go. And then the same thing here. And just scrape it off, take all the avocado out. I like to use, like I said, three of them. Everything in avocado is good. The oil is good, and it's also anti-cholesterol. A lot of potassium, magnesium, niacin, a lot of minerals, and uh, vitamin E and K. Boy, this thing is very heavenly. It's a good fruit. Yes, it is a fruit. It grows on the tree, so it's a fruit. That's why it's a holy fruit. Holy moly, that's bad. Okay, so what I do, I just get one of these potato mashers and just mash the, the avocados, the Haas avocado, with all those good nutrients in it. Bring a lot of nutritious value in this avocado. As I said, rich in minerals, vitamins, and I'll give you a health tip. If you have dry skin, just take one teaspoon of lime juice and one tablespoon of honey and one avocado, mash them up together and just put it on your face or neck, whatever, whatever it's dry. It's going to feed your face with a lot of vitamins and you're going to be as young as me. So as you see, you mash them up and I don't want to be too smooshy, you know, too, you don't want to mash them up too much. I just like, be like a little bit chewy, right? So once this is done, then in the order of fit, you know, like firmness, right? Onions go next. So you dump the onion. How much? I told you it's like one good Maui onion. And then just again mix them up. 
and you can see that mixture ratio here. If you like a little bit more onions, go ahead. No harm. But you know that onion has at least 70 properties. A lot of vitamins. Very rich. Always eat onions. And then if you like garlic, this you know you can add or you don't have to, but maybe a half a teaspoon just to have that flavor of garlic, give it a strong flavor. So next in order it will be the cilantro. So I chop some cilantro, you add that. Again, you can mix them up. It's so all about healthy eating, right? Vegetables, herbs, beans. Now, the last thing goes in is the chopped, uh, the tomatoes here. Okay, so just put it gradually. And the way to mix it, you're not going to use that because you're going to mash the heck out of the onion, uh, tomatoes. This is what I'll do here. Just gently. Looks like it's going to need more. So you just add a little bit more of chopped tomatoes. There's always room to add, but if you add too much, I bet you can't separate them. You're going to have a messy hand. Okay, the next thing goes into this guacamole. Only only is beautiful ripe lime. Remember, before you cut the lime, you got to work with it. Give it a little bit loomy 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 massage. Go back and forth and squeeze it as you do it, but don't, not, not too hard. You don't want to squirt because you need to some people around you. Okay, so just loomy loomy and then you get the juice separated. Cut it here, see as you cut the juice squirts out. Now you take it, take the bowl back, and then you squirt a little bit, squeeze it, all the juice. Smell it. Wow. It smells fresh lime, wakes you up. It gives you a lot of atmosphere to get ready for surfing, bodyboarding, and drink your longboard beer all the time. Alright, now we have all the ingredients mixed. The avocado, the onions, the chopped the uh, red tomatoes and a little bit garlic in this case and I'm going to transfer holy moly guacamole into this beautiful bowl okay there you go put the whole thing there now what I'll do here folks I'll just squeeze a little bit more lime here that lime is a good flavor to this guacamole and just to add some nice colors I just finish it with the remaining uh, tomatoes they're chopped you can see they're in cubes and sprinkle a little bit of that cilantro on it okay and then what I do, just to give it a, just a little bit smoothy, you know, so it's easy to dip, just a little bit of this virgin olive oil. That's all, not much. Look at this. Right here, right there. On a tragic event. You can use chips or you can use even toasted bread, you know? All in mole. Ain't that a guacamole? Now you put this on the table, you call your buddies and grab yourself a nice, any kind of beer. I prefer the longboard. And you know, folks, in case you have no problem with salt or pepper or any kind of seasoning, just give it some dash of salt. Although the chips will have salt, but you know, it adds a little bit of more good taste to it. And then just sprinkle a little bit of pepper on it. Now you're set to go. Open up your beer, grab a beer of your kind, and sit down and enjoy your guacamole. Hang loose for the second portion of the program. Mahalo.